Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. I was sick in the summertime in August, and I think the last one I did was September, uh, but I did that off camera because I was still sick from whatever bug I picked up in um, August. And it took a long while to get better. I don't know. Uh, even now, I still have a bit of problems with my my breathing. Um, so I don't know what type of strain really hit me. But and you know, we had a lot of a lot of loss around us um, uh, with pets and uh, friends of mine, family members. It was very. Um, trying time and work was extremely busy so um anyways i'm here i'm gonna do a dollar tree haul i'm gonna try to do this quickly um so i'm gonna just jump right into it um i'm in canada and when i most of the dollar trees that i watch um i would say 98 percent of the dollar tree hauls that i watch are from the u.s um so i make it a try to make it a mission that uh, when i go to the dollar trees around me uh, and there's three, it's probably about 20 minute drive, um, 15, 20 minute drive from me. And that I, and there's others that I know of, I just don't venture out to them. But one day I will, um, when I go visit my friend, she's an hour away. I always make sure that's one of the stops that I go to when I go up to see her. But I always try to see if I can find all the amazing stuff that are found in the States. Uh, sometimes it comes here, sometimes it doesn't, we luck out. Um, so sometimes it just takes a while. Sometimes it's never show up. So I'm going to get started. Um, one of the things that took a while, these were hauled, I, I saw hauled months and months ago. These were just, are just here. These are the scented candles and they're the M&M one. This one's M&M and it's the vanilla scent. I got two, one for myself and one for my friend. It's her birthday and I'm doing a, a gift, uh, bag for her. Um, She's uh, just after Valentine's Day. Um, I also got the Strawberry Skittles one. And the uh, another M&M, but this is the cinnamon scent one. I think I'm going to go give her this one too um, in her gift. Uh, she loves the color red. Uh, and I think she would like that, that scent. Um, and this is the Skittles Melon Berry. Smells really, really good. So I'm glad these came. I'm actually gonna go get some more, and put them up. My daughter, uh, my daughters both burn a lot of candles. We burn a lot of candles. Right now, my older daughter, she's in the Bath and Body Works candles, scented candles, and she discovered one from Walmart. So I know we're gonna be going there often uh, to <laughs> get candles. Um, I also saw these. I've never done or tried these. Um, but I'm going to try them and then if they smell really good, I'm going to actually give this to my friend as well. She's into this vanilla, um, scent thing again. Uh, years and years ago she was into it and she's back into it. So I'm going to, uh, give her some of these. Um, uh, I don't think she has a burner, but I'll give her that as well. Um, this I just picked up, um, it's called Hoity Toity and it's a... Um, Hoity Toity Mist Pris. And it's just a, a body spray. Uh, it smells really, really good. I don't think it's a Dollar Tree brand, but, um, and they had other scents that I've bought before. And so they're running low and I don't see them anymore. And they're not all at all the dollar stores. I think they're only at one. Uh, so I just picked up this one. Um, another thing that I got for my daughter's Valentine's Day, um, I picked up these boxes. When I was looking at something to do, I was thinking of a basket, but I might just do a bag and just put stuff in it. Uh, so I might fill this with chocolates and little trinkets. Uh, when I buy these stuff, uh, I just think of something that they would can use again and they can store stuff in this after they're done with it. Um, uh, they like keeping things and like I like keeping things so I can see them using this again for something else and not just throwing it away so that's what I kept in mind when I was buying them so I got one for one daughter one for the other uh, same type of box I also picked up chocolates for their their Valentine's Day 
Valentine's Day, my grandmother's birthday, uh, she passed away now, but my grandmother's birthday was on Valentine's Day. So growing up, Valentine's Day was always centered around what we're going to do for her, for her birthday, going out, family get together. And when she passed away in our, now uh, it's been 12 years, uh, uh, still think about her and still miss her and um, but it's just, so now I focus a lot more on my kids, even though I did when they were little, but, um, when my youngest was two, that's when she passed away. So ever since then, it's now more focused on her instead of my grandmother, but all through growing up, uh, whether we had partners or not, or boyfriends when we were teenagers and stuff, it was always getting together for my grandmother's birthday. So now I throw it all into my kids and my friends and stuff like that. And hubby as well, but, <laughs> um, more of the kids. Than anything we we just choose to do that but because uh, we love each other all through the year <laughs> anyway so i got um chocolate for them um my husband's a chocolate fan but he just takes so long to eat it so i'm throwing this for the kids um chocolate this is just the milk chocolate and they look like lips i thought that was cute these are the cookies and cream they love this. And then the crisp and crunch chocolate cups. I'm going to get a couple more bags um, to fill it up and to also for my friend's uh, birthday gift. Um, I got this. Um, I was given the idea that I could also use this for lip gloss because one of my daughters, she has gold hoops that she's, her dad had given her. Um, a few years back and she continuously wears those hoops she um she doesn't change out her earrings um frequently where my younger daughter does but so i was thinking i can give this to her for valentine's day and she can put her lip glosses she has like one ring that she might wear or a couple of little bracelets and everything else she just stores and keeps on her dresser but this could be for her lip glosses that she frequently wears um on a daily basis because uh, she has a huge huge lip gloss collection and for my other daughter i know she could use this because she has uh she likes to change out her earrings in fact for christmas i got her these they're costume jewelry but they're i got her different sets and different styles so she could change out because i know she likes to do that so um i was looking actually for a big one for her and i'm still gonna look out for her but this for now can um she can use um to put her earrings and some other she doesn't really wear rings but she does have bracelets um and uh put her earrings that she's uh wears frequently um so i got this one uh so this one it says pretty this one says glam and this one says diva so i'm gonna get another one one for me and one for my friend there was a black one i forget what that says could be beauty I'm not sure but there's a black one so i'm gonna get two for my friend like red and black because she loves red and black uh, for her birthday um and then uh one for me um i also got my daughter some socks uh these were down by the in the valentine's day aisle but they're actually not valentine's day just the colors are valentine's but they're not and these are the monster high um socks from monster high collection um I bought one for me, but I don't know which one I'm going to keep. But I think I like this one, so I might keep this one. Um, and then the second pair. They're very cute. And this pair. And then for my daughter's gift basket. Oops. Um, I got them for their Valentine's. Uh, the actual Valentine socks. This one says love. And uh, I don't know which one's going to get that, but one will. <laughs> and the other one says Love Rocks. Uh, I wanted to get the more than one pair, but these were the only two that they had left. Um, and I didn't want to get them the same socks. So um, just leave it at that for now. I also got this. This is actually, when I was looking at it, I said, oh, I should have got one for them. So I might go get um it's like a little snow globe but it says love but i'm just gonna put this on my makeup table because i just thought it was so pretty then i got them these each again different ones they know whose is whose 
and uh, it's not like <laughs> we're not huge drinkers uh, and they're definitely too young to be drinking um, one's closer to dr drinking age but than the other but um, they just like to drink out of different types of glasses uh, to get away from the usual glasses that we use um, so that's why I thought this would be a good idea um, they could also use it in their room to store stuff and put it on their dresser so that's what I was thinking when I bought that. So it's not like they're alcohol, that we drink alcohol all the time or that they can drink alcohol. Um, but I just thought it'd be neat because they liked to um, drink from different style glasses. I found these, which I thought were, that I'm going to try. During Christmas, I did uh, a DIY uh, for gifts um, where I was writing on ceramic. And I went to Michael's and I picked up the Sharpie type um, where you can write on metallic, um, on ceramic and it doesn't rub off. And it cost me probably almost $4 for one of the markers. I bought four different colors. And they had different the same type of colors. So I thought I would try these. I only got two colors. I'm just going to try them out. And then if it works, I'm going to buy some more. But here you can see all the colors that it comes in. And I'm going to, so I got the rose and the blue steel. Rose, platinum, and blue steel is what I, what I got. Yes, it doesn't actually say the names right here, but the colors are on the back. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try them out. And hopefully they work just as good as the Sharpies, um, then I can buy some more. I also saw these, and I got three. And these um, are same type of thing, a little bit different though. Um, and they are wet erasable. Um, and so you can write on chalkboard, and you can write on dry erase boards, windows, glass, and they'll wipe off with water. Um, this one I've opened because I try. I use. I have the chalk chalkboard labels, so I was trying them out, and they just look like this. So, um, and it just rubs off with water. So I put it on one of my labels, and I tried it out. And I, if I'm touching the label, it doesn't really erase. So you would have to actually use water to um, erase it. Uh, and at the bottom here, it's almost like a lipstick where you just push it out when it gets. Uh, lower so I got three colors I got the green I got the blue and I got the pink so I'm gonna try those out as well I saw a lot of people hauling this and I just there was one by the cashier the side there and I just picked it up just because I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for um, but if I don't I could give it to my little godson I'm sure he'll find some use for it. But I just buy it just because.